shepherds of Afghan refugees who now call Colorado home are two young girls who, along with their family, are rebuilding their lives. They were among those forced to flee here to the United States following the collapse of the country's government to the Taliban. While they have had support from several organizations across the state, the Girl Scouts have offered them much more. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt joining us live from Denver tonight. And Karen, the Girl Scouts really welcoming these girls like family. They really have, Kelly, and these two girls and their families have been through so much. The Girl Scout troop that welcomed them in have offered them new focus and opportunities that they likely would never have had had they stayed in Afghanistan. The family says it is more than they could have asked for as they find themselves now starting over. Girls, come to me. With their signature brown vests and lofty selling goals, 600 boxes. You'd guess 10 year old Shadouk and 8 year old Hayda had been Girl Scouts for years. It feels empowered and you're going to make friends. But they're brand new to Troop 68352, new to Colorado. In fact, they've only been in the United States for a few months, having fled Afghanistan to avoid Taliban rule. We were, you know, in real threat of being assassinated or being killed by Taliban. Shadouk's father and Hida's uncle, Dr. Mirawise Bahij, remembers feeling a brief second of relief once they reached the gate outside the Kabul airport. And a moment later, chaos. In seconds that just this, the blast happened and in seconds it changed our life. Three of their family members were killed and several more badly injured, including the girls who spent weeks in a coma. Just on the hospital was so hard, so hard. With family already in Colorado, they were resettled in Broomfield and found that the Girl Scout organization and troop leaders were among their biggest supporters. They saw the problem, they identified the girls, and they've welcomed them in in a way that, that has changed their lives. The troop giving the girls opportunity that would never have been had they stayed in Afghanistan and giving the family hope as they work to build a new life. And they're happy making friends, you know, and forgetting what happened to them day by day. It takes time. Now the Girl Scouts are offering any refugee that wants to join a free membership. As for Shadouk and um, Haida, they are trying to reach that goal. And if you'd like to help them, we have all the information on how you can do that, including a link to their sales page online at cbsdenver.com. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. So great to see those girls making a lot of friends. Thank you, Karen.